John, to your house? Yeah. There's an old cop car that's... Turn it around, Ramon. Aim it towards the window. What window? Aim it out the window so you can just see his driving. So that... You're vlogging, so... Fuck. We can vlog while it records outside. The vlog is not the road. It's yeah, you. a vlog's not the road, Steven. A vlog is, is it's you. It's not the vlog, it's you. So, I mean... What should we talk about then? Future plans. Let's talk Future about, plans? about your car. What the fuck are you doing with your car? Why Trump is bad for America. Well, Shh. shut the fuck up. Let's not start that shit on these videos. Let's talk about why Trump is bad. That's gonna, way, that's gonna get edited let's out. Let's talk about how the ice caps are melting. So, I did buy a... Global warming is not a myth. Shut the fuck up, John, before I kick your ass. Hail Satan. Ah! Ah! Okay, okay. Anyways, I did buy a... I did buy a blow-off valve to replace the recirculating valve, so that should be in in a couple of weeks. It's coming from China, so that's the only place you can get it. Damn, sexy, you and your moped. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Then, um, major plans are doing a downpipe eventually, but that's going to take some time to find one that works with my car. So, a cold air intake, of course, because that's just the basic of basic. But, that should make it pretty fucking badass and fast. The blow off valve, I just want it because I want it to sound like a turbo. Not that it doesn't already, but. Oh, my fucking neck. Yeah, the shit is my pee pee. <laughs> so, I mean, the car does sound really good with the straight pipe exhaust. Yeah. No mufflers, no nothing, just straight pipe. And then, um, another thing I'm doing is, the guys that did the straight pipe exhaust, yeah. they still have my stock exhaust, so I'm going to switch that out to be able to be a bolt-on kit yeah. on both of them. So, if I'm going on a long trip and, you know, it's just too loud in the car for, you know, families or, you know, whatever, then I'm going to take off the, the bolt-on, uh -huh. the straight pipe and put on the original. That way it's not loud as fuck while I'm driving, you know, California or whatever for a trip. That's another plan I have, but I gotta save up some money for that. It's gonna be like 100 bucks or so. Damn. Which is not that much money. <laughs> uh, but right now, I don't got no money, so. Nothing broke as a joke. Yeah, so. Those are my future, future plans. Money. I'm also thinking about doing some like exterior stuff where. Um, well, that's kind of a secret right now, because I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But. Like, are you gonna wrap the shit? Oh, or what? sure, yeah. No, I'm not gonna wrap it. I like the color too much to wrap it. It has so a great color. What do you think? So I'm, doing it. I'm considering like a, uh, maybe a racing stripe. <laughs> John, shut the fuck up. What? What is your problem? <laughs> I do. <laughs> so, what? What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Steven, stop laughing. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. man. Y'all are horrible. Y'all are childish. Federal. So I might put a, um, a racing stripe on it. Yeah. Scare me. Probably put a racing stripe. Uh, I don't know the color yet. Yeah. In the prototype of the vehicle, they had this like really nice green color. Yeah. That really goes with the Sonic Gray that it is. Um, and the Sonic Gray does have like blue and green sparkles in it. If you look at it in the sun. Yeah. So I think that would really you know, just do it well. So I'm thinking about doing that. I don't know yet. It's gonna cost a little bit of money to do that. So. Tax return. <laughs> Tax return. Tax return. Tax return. Hopefully get like six, seven grand. I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get like three thousand on my tax return, which is good. And then I'm also getting a thousand dollar bonus from work, so that'll be even better. It's four grand. If I was a boy, <laughs> I think I would understand. You wouldn't understand, John, if you were a boy. All oh, this car bullshit. <laughs> You know what, there's nothing wrong with being a car enthusiast. Uh -huh. I heard you get 
hell of hose if you're Except, you know, I'd probably turn out like you. And it's just like the worst thing we could possibly have right now. Yeah, John, have a job and have money and a girl yeah, and really. a car and, you know, be able to you do like whatever girls, the fuck I want. fucking faggot. I know, dude. This fuck <laughs> likes girls now, dude. What the fuck likes <laughs> girls? Guys, right, Steven, if you had to choose between your girl and your car, my girl. and the other one gets filled with bullets, my girl. Oh, good choice, good choice. Wait, you choose her to get shot? No, I, oh, I would okay, choose my car to get shot. I would save her. Okay. Okay. Just had to be sure, man. Because you like fucking, like, you're obsessed with this thing. <laughs> yeah, I love my car, but it's an inanimate, inanimate object. It doesn't matter for me. Why is Lady Gaga on the radio right now? I don't know. Ah, uh, son, copyright strikes. That shit out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can start putting my own music in the Your videos. videos get flagged. I know, dude. Instant flag right there. Dude. I might, I might you start know, putting some. That like, like three seconds, of Lady Gaga, dude. That shit's copyright shit right there. Dude. Videos, they're especially gonna flag up because shit. they hear us talking about flagging them. I know, dude. That's no! Idea. What? So then, um, so I was gonna buy a Ford. Yeah. I was gonna buy a F um, Fiesta ST, and then I decided that it was too small for my fucking six feet tall ass, and I wouldn't be able to carry. I wouldn't be able to have anybody in the car with me ever, except in the passenger seat up front. It was just way too small. Oh, you look. Look at me, dude. I don't even need all this fucking extra space. I know, but like, you wouldn't be able to sit in the back. I would. No, you wouldn't. Really? There's like this much room in between you and the fucking... This much room. Bro, just pull what this guy has right here, dude. Fucking... He's that's got a the, fucking wheelchair. He's got the seat in the back. That's a fucking wheelchair. You can't say that's not comfortable. Dude. That's the guy, that's the guy in the back has fucking wheelchairs. Why can't you? So, just a, just a heads out for you guys in fucking Tucson. Knees. Don't fucking buy a Ford if you don't want your credit pulled nine times by the fucking credit bureaus. For them to try and find financing for you, because that's what they did. And like, I'm trying to apply for a credit card where I can get points and shit for yeah. all the purchases I make, and I can't get approved anywhere because these fucks pulled my fucking credit report eight times for a car I didn't even buy. <laughs> and I was like, "Is he gonna pull a hard credit pull right before he said no?" I was like, "Okay, so if it's not gonna do a hard credit pull, then sure, I'll, I'll have you check into it." And then I went back later on. I was going to buy the car yeah, the next yeah, yeah. week or something. And my dad was going to go with me to look at it. Oh, uh, sorry. And it ended up being too small, like he was saying. So I was like, well, I just I'll, try and, I'll try and drive like a Ford Focus. Uh, and that thing was so fucking slow and boring. <coughs> and safe? No, it wasn't safe at all. Oh, shit. It was a piece of shit. So Anyways. So after they had pulled my credit report eight times, and then I received letters in the mail saying... We've declined your application for this reason, blah blah blah. Uh -huh. And you know, whatever it was, not not a long time in credit history. I'm only 20. Uh -huh. I've only had credit history for about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they fucking declined me for that. But I mean, they pulled my credit report eight times on hard credit pulls. <laughs> it was complete bullshit. Really? I didn't. I didn't even agree for one time a hard credit pull. I I agreed for a soft pull. Yeah. So anyways, don't do business with Jim Cluck Ford because they're fucks. You look at that Camaro over there, dude. <coughs> and then they called me right after I'd bought this car. Yeah. And my payments were going to be $500 a month for this car by myself. Because yeah. I screwed up and got all these stupid extra packages and shit. Yeah. Like, all this Zach Tech bullshit. Don't let the dealerships push you around either. That's that's stupid. That's he, what I did, and I got fucked. He brought his daddy in next time. I brought my daddy in next daddy time. Daddy fucking yep. whooped him. Yep, seriously. <laughs> he bent those car dealers over his fucking knee. Yeah, and then the guy the guy kept offering the same shit to him, and he was getting pissed. My no. dad was like, literally... No, we don't we're want gonna... this shit. No, my dad was finally like, you want me just to walk out then? Because he was joking around about adding it on. Yeah. And, like, the set payment was 370 a month. Yeah. After he co-signed. Unfor unfortunately, I needed him to co-sign because I don't have enough credit history, as we just talked about. So then... My payments are now 370 because my dad co-signed in a really good interest rate, like two point something or other. Damn. So I mean that's really good, but the fucking asshole at the dealership, he's like, so 380, and I was like, what the fuck is this guy trying to pull? You know? He's trying, he's trying to make money, dude. Come on. Dude. I know that's the only Our thing he's trying to do. The devil. But then he's like, you know, we already told him we don't want any of the fucking packages a million times. Yeah. We don't want them. 
they're shit to us. We don't fucking want them. Because yeah. that's where I got fucked the last time. Hard in the asshole. And then they're like, well, if we take those off, it'll only be 490 a month by myself. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, I know you guys can do better. Because by myself, they would only give me 72 months. Yeah. But with my dad, I got the 84 month loan, which I'm going to pay it off in hopefully a year or two. Yeah. If I save up enough money to do that. <clears throat> But they were just like fucking with us a lot, and I was like really pissed off at them. That's Showcase Honda in Phoenix, and Jim Click Ford in Tucson, fucking assholes. <laughs> now, I did walk away with the car I wanted because I was seriously just gonna, you know, take the car back, and they were gonna charge me fees for driving it for a week. Yeah. Basically, like a renter's fee. Yeah. And I would have lost my entire deposit of 1200 bucks, which is not much, but it is a lot when the, you're. The fuck's going on, John? Buy a car. What the fuck? So like twelve hundred dollar deposit, they were trying to take it away from me because there's the smallest little scratch in the window, and then there's one little piece of gravel in the paint. Um, the reason why is because I had to drive from Tucson to Phoenix four fucking times to get this figured out. Great. So after going up there three times, I finally got it fixed and uh. finally got my payments down to something that's actually manageable. Five hundred dollars a month is way too much fucking money. So right now? Well, I know, yeah, and I mean, I'm working on getting a second job, so it would have been, it would have been understandable, but it still yeah. would have been screwed on those payments. Like, that's too much money. And with my interest rate going to be like five and a half percent or something, or like five point nine nine percent by myself? Yeah. I would have been paying like three, four, five, five thousand dollars every couple of years for interest. Damn. Not even towards the car, just towards interest. Goddamn. And I hate paying interest. I don't pay interest on anything else in my life. 